You're holding a Fairness Commons here at Middlesex University, and I'm a, uh, you know, I wrote a book in which I put um, a, what I consider to be a hard vision of fairness at its heart. And I think that um, not only does Britain have to, in the jargon, rebalance its economy, it's got to reset its economy. The only way out of the problems we're in is to invest and innovate. And what sits behind investment and innovation is not just scientific research, but also um, human relationships underpinned by fairness. I do think that um, Chancellor George Osborne um, will be seen by future economic historians as one of the great economic misjudgments of history to simultaneously ask the public sector to pull in its belt whilst the private sector was pulling in its belt and that's made things much worse and that's unfair. You know, you have to have public agency there to mitigate the risk, to pool the risk and to ensure that people don't suffer just brute bad luck and that's the heart of fairness. It, uh, and I, I'm afraid actually that they're, they're fundamentally wedded to um, an unfair agenda which um, never becomes clearer than this division between strivers and skivers. Um, I think dividing um, honest to God working people into strivers and skivers um, I and mean, are the people who you know, are made out of work because of some factory closure suddenly skivers? You know, it's, a, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible category in which to organize your ideas and actually admits to a, 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 a fundamental refusal to embrace fairness principles. Well, look, I think the Institute of Ideas is a, is a, really, is a really good initiative. You know, I, I hope people um, work hard at it. I hope it gets noticed. Um, I certainly uh, will try to notice it in my own writing. What's become obvious to me is you, is, you, know, you need to construct a coalition. Um, there need to be lots of people working in this uh, vineyard. I mean, God, it's huge, huge. And each area has subsets and each subset needs to be looked at in granular detail. This, this needs so many people to put their shoulder to the wheel, and we've got less than 100 people worrying about it, maybe 50 in the country of 63 million people. Fairness is one of the kind of building blocks of our civilization, and I think that one of my um, criticisms of um, the, the conservative evolution that began in the late 1970s with the great free market thinkers um, in America, uh, Ronald Reagan, uh, the Republican Party, and Mrs. Thatcher with her Me Too policies, really kind of aping what was going on in America, have really, you know, really undermined and actually at the limit torched ideas of fairness, which I think have grave implications for the health of our society.